In this video, I'm going to show you how to rescue a botched 3D print. Um, in this case, I was making a Klein bottle. You can see what it was supposed to look like right there. Uh, and I was using fused, a fused filament spool. And I can tell from looking at it that I did a bad job on that bond. I was going too fast. So it broke and it ran out of filament. Uh, but the printer kept going. So you lose track of the position that it broke at. Uh, but there's so much work done on it, I don't want to throw the piece away, so I'm going to show you how to rescue it. not to accidentally knock your print off the bed, uh, or you'll lose the position, and then it is ruined, for sure. But no, all I'm doing right now, come on now, go down. It's finding where it left off. Okay, there it is. All right, we're looking at uh, Repetier Host, and the first thing we're going to do is go to my manual control, and it tells you what your what it thinks your position is. So the X and Y are wrong because it's not at zero, but Z is right. Fifty-seven point nine is what it says. So I'm going to go back to you go to Print Preview, and then you go to Edit G Code, and then it pops open this little tab, and now I got to find fifty-seven where where it first tells it to go to Z position 57.9 and there's literally there are 84,000 lines of code but it's it does have a search function it's control F and then search so I just typed in Z 57 and hit enter and now <clears throat> it's showing me it appears there's a Z 57.3 um, <clears throat> so I was no, I know I was running in 0.3 millimeter layers, uh, so the fact that this says I'm at 57.9 and I'm leveled off, uh, I know that th this happens to be the exact layer number uh, that it that it took off on. It wasn't like 57.85 or something like that. Is what I'm trying to say. So we hit enter again. It finds the next one in sequence. And one more time. Oops. Don't accidentally edit the G code while you're doing that. You gotta hit enter while it's in search. There. G57.9. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just highlight this a little bigger. There. Highlight everything above it. Just hold shift, scroll the bar up, and hit right at the beginning. That worked. That worked. Delete everything above that line. Bam. In fact, you can see that this the model is changing on depending on how I'm editing this. Now, we can't just hit resume at this point because there's also a relative uh, extruder distance that needs to be corrected. So we have to insert one line of code. Uh, let me see. It's G92 and, and then the letter E. G92 space the letter E and then the exact position that you want it to resume at so I'm looking at uh, looking at looking at line 4 here and it says E 3.58 so that's where it thinks the extruder distance is so that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna insert right there and now you're pretty much done the next step is to go to manual control and home it in X and Y and then uh, go to print preview and press print right here there we go and it'll redo the entire layer so if it had stopped halfway on the layer or something it'll go over where it was again but that's not a big deal and we're back in business that's how you fix a uh, botched 3d print Until it finds the top, I'm fine. I'm gonna. Oh shit! 